Susan Moreland, and I am the Academic Dean for Public Safety, Education and Transportation for Ames Community College. The current Ames Public Safety Institute was built in 2010. Over that time, Weld County has grown tremendously. We need to increase the number of students that we can provide to this growing population. The Gateway Building will have general aviation, air traffic control. We'll also have the unmanned aerial systems program. More specifically, we wanted to have a facility where we could have more realistic scenarios and training opportunities for our first responders. We'll have a PSI training yard, and in the training yard, we'll have a SimCity. We'll have a four-way intersection. It will have a traffic light, fire hydrants. So it's going to be a real small town-like environment. So these interagency players can come in and actually work with each other like they would do in the real world. My name is Mike Millsaps. I'm the Executive Director of Facilities for Ames Community College. Search and Rescue, Police Academy, EMS, they will all be using these facilities. So here we are on the main floor. This is supposed to represent maybe a back door to a house. We have a basement, we have a bathroom, we have a toilet, we have a sink. These are not operational, but they're props. So they're able to go through the entire house, clear the house. You know, if somebody is downstairs in this far corner basement, another opportunity for a simulated rescue out of the basement. We also have cutaway walls. It gives the opportunity for the firefighters not to see what's actually in the wall. So if they get in there and they have to deal with the fire, just a nice cutaway to give them another idea of, hey, if I'm going to go into a, a building and this is real life, what am I going to encounter? So this is the room that has the maze. There's a lot to say about the largest maze in the country. We actually have a pretty strong sound system in here, so they're blaring all the noises you'd hear in real life. It's pretty impressive. My name is Eric Himmler. I'm the Director of Aviation here at Ames Community College. There's going to be a 30% job growth in the next 20 years for a and mechanics. A lot of them are retiring and not enough for getting trained. So the goal is to train up to 150 students in this two-year program in a much-needed industry. With an addition of an A&P program, it becomes the fourth leg of what we offer here at Ames. We currently offer a professional pilot program. We offer an unmanned aircraft systems degree. We have an air traffic control associate of applied science degree. Now with an A&P program, these are all complementary programs that offer us to be innovative when it comes to new technologies that emerge. I'm Dr. Nick Spezza. I am the Associate Vice President of Academic Affairs. All of the campuses of Ames, all of the employees of Ames are really here to help our community grow and prosper. And so Ames is now in a position where we can create a center for people to come together to focus on how does industry and education and the community work together to grow that new prosperity that I mentioned. One of the key values of the Workforce Innovation Center is the opportunities for our students in the community to get training and access to businesses that are looking to hire. The Workforce Innovation Center will specifically be able to be measured in terms of how many jobs were created, how many new businesses were created. That will create economic impact. We want this space to be viable immediately and agile enough to turn and face what we're not even expecting to come at us in the next five years. And Ames has a really strong history of doing that. My name is John Mangan. I am Department Chair for Construction and Engineering Technology, and I teach in the Construction Management Program. It's probably pretty obvious to most who live in the area that housing is a real problem. But Alquist is looking to come in and bring in a new system to help address this critical shortage of housing, not just here in Colorado, but really nationwide. Hi, I'm Patrick Timothy Callahan. I'm the CEO of Alquist 3D. Alquist 3D does a number of things. We are focused right now on construction and 3D printing construction to attack the housing crisis within the United States and around the world. But we're also focused on other pieces of that, like workforce development, which is why we're so excited about the relationship we have with Ames Community College. They were able to give us some space here to get going because we offered up the ability to have our experts be here. 
We have a curriculum that we've been designing that we're going to design with Ames as well that's going to get young folks and students really excited about getting into the trades and give them new tools. Automation and computerization haven't been able to take hold in the same way in the construction industry as they have in other industries like manufacturing. But this technology that Alquist is bringing and working on is promising to help address that. I look at my role and the role of Ames as bridging the gap between students who are looking for employment and employers who are looking for a skilled workforce. What this partnership means for our students is opportunity. Mm -hmm.